What's going on YouTube? My name is Sean and thank you guys so much for tuning in to today's video. Today's topic is something that's really near and dear to my heart, it gets me really excited to talk about, and it's where most of my expertise lies. We're going to be talking about cichlids. More importantly, my top five favorite cichlids. I'm going to be telling you guys why each one of these are my favorite, and I'm going to be giving you guys some care tips for each one. Let's not waste any time and go ahead and jump right into the video. Now, when you consider some of the benefits of keeping cichlids, it's no wonder why they're one of the most popular species kept by aquarists. They have size, they have awesome color, and they have a really great temperament and personality. As far as color goes, you can have pretty much any color of the rainbow to choose from when you keep cichlids. Size-wise, you can have a moderate size cichlid from four to six inches that's gonna be great for a 55 gallon like this. You can have a decent sized cichlid of 10 to 12 inches that might need a bit of an upgrade, or you can have massive 20 to 24 inch, even bigger than two feet long cichlids that are an absolutely cool and just great show fish to have in a massive tank. These are just some of the reasons that I love keeping cichlids, and I hope you guys really enjoy this list. Let's go ahead and get into number one. In no particular order, starting off at number one, we have the green terror cichlid. The green terror cichlid definitely can live up to its name when it's at its full grown adult size. These guys can get probably between 10 and 12 inches, depending on how well they're kept over the course of their lifetime. They're not a particularly fast grower. You're gonna have several years before these guys really get that massive size, but they are just absolutely stunning with the color that they have. You're gonna have lots of greens, blues, and even a yellow stripe along their tail. These guys can definitely live up to their name when it comes to their temperament if you're not keeping them with other aggressive cichlids. So be really wise with your tank mate choices. These guys need at least a 75 gallon aquarium if they're kept by themselves. 90 plus, even 120 and 125 when you're getting into those six foot tanks is gonna be a lot better. These guys do great when they're kept with other large South or Central American cichlids. And when their temperaments match up and you find other cichlids that are able to handle their aggressiveness, you'll really find that they shine and they do absolutely awesome in these types of aquariums. Coming in at number two on the list, we have Severums. The reason these guys are one of my favorite cichlids is because they have a lot of really cool qualities like awesome color combinations and really good temperament. As far as color combinations go, some of my favorites and the most popular are the Rock Keel Severum, otherwise known as the Red Shoulder Severum, the Gold Severum, the Red Spotted Severum, and the Green Severum. Temperament wise, these guys get along with all kinds of other cichlids. They're really kind, they like to swim throughout the tank, they don't nip, and they really get a good size as well. Size wise, you can expect these guys to get anywhere between eight to 10, even maybe up to 12 inches, but that's usually more in height than it is in length. These guys get really tall and fairly thick. Their shape is somewhat resemblance to a discus, although they do get quite a bit thicker than a discus does. Like I said before, their temperament is really great and they're known to be one of the more kind cichlids out of the whole family. These guys really don't get aggressive unless they are spawning, so as long as you keep either all the same sex or just one severum in your tank, you should really not run into any aggression issues. I keep severums myself, they're an awesome fish, they love to swim up to the top when we feed them, and they do really well in a cichlid tank setting. Next up at number three on the list, we have the Jack Dempsey cichlid. Jack Dempsey's are really well known in the hobby, and in my opinion, they're probably the most popular cichlid that people keep on this list. Something to really keep in mind with this particular cichlid is its eventual adult size. You're really gonna need a big tank and a lot of swimming room for these guys. These guys may start off really tiny, but trust me, they're gonna take up a lot of room in your tank. Ideally for one or even maybe a pair, a 75 or 90 gallon should be good for life. But if you plan on adding any other types of cichlids, a 125 is really gonna be necessary. Having that six feet in length is gonna give them a lot of room to swim back and forth throughout the tank. And also the height is really gonna be advantageous to them as well. As far as temperament goes, these guys do have their name for a reason. They're named after a famous boxer who was known to be really vicious in the ring, and these guys certainly can mirror his temperament. I have seen lots of reports of Jack Dempsey's that are calm and do really well with other fish and never cause any aggression issues, and on the other side of the spectrum, some that have killed every single tank mate that has been put with it. So this is something that's just really going to depend on which fish you get and the personality you end up having with that fish. That being said, the electric blue variety has been reported to be a little bit less aggressive and not have as many of the aggression issues. Those are going to be your two types of Jack Dempsey, your electric blue and your standard variation. 
The electric blue is a striking deep blue color and the regular Jack Dempsey really gets some nice blues and greens as well, just not quite as a sharp blue as the electric does. These guys are absolutely great eaters. They really tend to recognize their owner when they come up to the tank after a long time of having them and they've even been known to eat from your hand after a lot of training. It's very common to see them in the one, one and a half inch size at stores, but trust me, these guys are going to get large at 10 to 12 inches at full grown. That being said, they are very slow growers. You can expect a quarter to a half an inch a month up until about eight inches, and then to even reach their full size, you could be looking at a year or more. So in total, if you buy them at a really small baby size, you won't have to worry about that adult tank size for at least a year, maybe even two. So it does give you a lot of time to get their eventual home set up, but it's something you absolutely need to keep in mind if you're gonna keep this awesome cichlid. Number four on this list is the Electric Blue Acara. Acaras are really well known in the hobby and they're super popular, and for good reason. These guys don't get huge, so you have a lot of tank options to keep them in. Four to six inches is all you're really going to expect out of these guys. A 55 gallon or larger is really great for maybe two to even three Acaras, but you're definitely going to want some tank mates. So if you're going to keep them with similar size cichlids, definitely make sure you invest in something 75 gallons or bigger. These guys have a striking blue color and a killer personality. Personally, my electric blue Okara is the most popular fish in the tank. He loves to be center of attention, and you can always catch him right out in front of the tank whenever you walk here into the fish room. They also have a really excellent temperament. I've never had any issues with aggression with these guys, and they just love community tanks, and they really do well with other similar size cichlids. You can get away with keeping them with some of the larger cichlids. One of the things that I advise if you're going to do that is to make sure you get them all at a juvenile size. The likelihood that things like Terrors and Dempseys and these larger cichlids, the way that you help them get along with these slightly smaller cichlids is again by introducing them at a small size and letting them grow up together. This really does help everybody get along in the long run and you'll notice a lot calmer tank over the lifespan of the fish. Blue Acaras are really easy to find. I see them in a lot of pet shops and fish stores that I go into and they'll make a great addition to almost any cichlid tank. Last but certainly not least on this list here at number five, we have the red double cichlid. In my opinion, this is definitely the most temperamental and aggressive cichlid on this list. So I left it till last so I could give you guys some really good information and make sure you're well versed before you decide to own this fish. Red devils really can live up to their name and can have a lot of aggression, although it's not always a for sure thing. Again, the personality of the fish that you keep is definitely a factor that comes into play, as with every cichlid, but especially these guys. As far as size goes, these guys can get a really monster size of 12 to 14 inches. They're going to take up a lot of your tank space, so a bare minimum for just one, I would recommend a 55, really a 75 for that extra width. If you're going to keep any kind of tank mates, you definitely need to bump it up and get a much larger tank. Now, tank mates can definitely be put with these guys, but you need to be really choosy on who you choose to house with the Red Devil. Red Devils do really well with the likes of Jack Dempsey's and Green Terrors and other cichlids that are going to really give them a run for their money in terms of their aggressiveness. You need a cichlid that's going to be able to fight back and kind of tame these guys down, otherwise they're going to get really dominant and tend to run your whole tank. That being said, you can get a lot of enjoyment out of these guys. They really grow to be a great size. They're one of the best cichlids out there for recognizing their owners, swimming right up front of the tank when you come into the room and begging for food. A lot of people love to just sit and watch these guys swim. They have a really cool attitude, and a lot of the times they're a great centerpiece or show fish for a really large tank. They stick out well, their shocking red color is really easy to see, and the people who keep them really tend to enjoy them if you know their care requirements and make sure you're really choosy with how you house them, what size tank you put them in, and what tank mates you choose to live with them. I guarantee you, if you take the time to really read up on these guys and do your research, you're going to love keeping Red Devil cichlids. And there you guys have it. That is my list of my top five favorite cichlids. If you guys have a video idea for me, great. Let me know in the comments section, and I'm going to be handpicking certain comments that have really cool video ideas and making them just for you guys. I want to make content that you guys want to see and that you find entertaining. If you guys want to connect with me better, my social media is always linked down in the bio. If you check me out over there, I'm always posting pictures of my fish and posting when new videos are uploaded. And while you're at it, if you guys want to know when I upload new videos, please smash that subscribe button and go down and turn on the little bell on the notification bar. And that way, it goes right to your phone or whatever device you're on when you're watching my videos. And that way, you never miss a video when I upload. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. And until next time, have a great day.